Hello and welcome to another episode of today's Chikki. I am Pooja Tiwari, and in this segment, we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. The reef is located in the coral sea, and it can be seen from outer space, and is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. This reef structure is composed of and built by billions of tiny organisms known as coral polyps. It is composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands, and it was selected as a World Heritage Site in 1981. So we have to identify the body using the given options. Many of you have answered it correctly. The correct answer to this question is option A, Great Barrier Reef. Recently, the UNESCO World Heritage Committee has recommended that the Australia's Great Barrier Reef should be added to a list of endangered World Heritage sites. It was recommended to add to the list because of the impact of climate change. Despite Reef 2050, the coral reef ecosystem has suffered three major bleaching events since 2015 due to severe marine heat waves. The Reef 2050 Long-Term Sustainability Plan is the Australian and Queensland government's overarching framework for protecting and managing the Great Barrier Reef by 2050. Moving on, Snan Yatra Festival was recently celebrated in which of the following states? It has been celebrated in the state of Odisha, and recently the annual festival of Snan Yatra was celebrated in Puri in Odisha. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the celebration are restricted and no devotees are allowed. The Snan Yatra is a bathing festival of deities celebrated on the Purnima of the Hindu month of Jeesht. It is the auspicious birthday of Lord Jagannath. Consider the following battles: Battle of Samana, Battle of Sidhora, Battle of Chapachiri, and Battle of Logar. So, which of the above battles were fought by Baba Banda Singh Bahadur? All of the above were fought by Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. So, the correct answer is option D. Recently, tributes were paid on the martyrdom anniversary of legendary Sikh general Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. who was a Sikh warrior and a commander of the Khalsa army who became a disciple of the Guru Gobind Singh in 1708 the battles fought by him are as follows battle of sonipat samana chaparchiri sandhora lohgad jammu rahu jalalabad gurdas nangal and sirhind moving on project seabird recently seen in the news is related to which of the following it is related to western coast naval base Recently the defense minister reviewed the country's largest naval base project Seabird the naval base is constructed at Karwar Uttar Kannada district in Karnataka and the first phase of the construction of the base was completed in 2005 and the base was commissioned on 31st May 2005 development of phase 2 commenced in 2011 consider the following statements regarding United Nations office on drugs and crime it publishes the world drugs report every 6 months and it is headquartered at Geneva Switzerland we have to select the correct option The first statement is incorrect, and so is the second. Why? Because it publishes World Drug Report annually in not six months, and it is headquartered in Vienna, Austria, not Geneva, Switzerland. So the correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. The recently published World Drug Report 2021 says the lockdown restrictions during COVID-19 may have accelerated drug trafficking using the internet, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime publishes the report annually. It is headquartered in Vienna, Austria. Recently, an air strike occurred in Tigray region. This region is located in which of the following countries? It is located in the country of Ethiopia. So, recently at least 64 people were killed. 180 were injured in an air strike on a market in war zone Tigray region. It is the northernmost region of Ethiopia and the region is homeland to Tigrayan, Arab and Kunama people. Capital and largest city is Mekelle. Consider the following statements regarding Information Fusion Center for Indian Ocean region. It was set up in 1959 to coordinate with regional countries on maritime issues and act as a regional repository of maritime data. Presently, has linkages with 21 partner countries and 22 multinational agencies across the globe. So we have to select the correct statement. The first statement is incorrect because it was set up in 2018 to coordinate with regional countries on maritime issues and act as a regional repository of maritime data. And the second statement is definitely correct. So the correct answer is option B. That is two only. Moving on to the explanation, the UK has appointed a liaison officer to the Indian Navy's Information Fusion Centre for Indian Ocean region, which is meant for maritime domain awareness. And also, we have discussed the next statement, and so this statement, and it is located in Gurugram, India. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding tax inspectors without borders program. It is a joint initiative of the UNDP and the OECD. Its objective is to enable sharing of tax audit knowledge and skills with tax administration in developing countries. Through a targeted real-time learning by doing approach, we have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are actually correct, so the correct answer is option C, both one and two. And recently, Bhutan's Tax Inspectors Without Borders program was launched in partnership with India. 
Through this, Indian collaboration with the UNDP and the TIWB Secretariat aims to aid Bhutan in strengthening its tax administration by transferring technical know-how and skills to its tax auditors and through sharing of best audit practices. TIWB program is a joint initiative of the UNDP and OECD and the objective we have already discussed. Which of the following pairs is or are correctly matched? Dardanelles between Sea of Marmara and Asian Sea, Pass Strait between Pacific and South Atlantic Ocean and Magellan Strait between Pacific Ocean and Indian Ocean. We have to select the correct answer. The first pair is correctly matched while the rest two are not. So the correct answer is option A, one only. Dardanelles is a narrow natural strait an internationally significant waterway in northwestern Turkey connecting the Sea of Marmara to the Asian and Mediterranean seas, while also allowing passage to Black Sea by extension via the Bosphorus. Bass Strait separates the island of Tasmania from the Australian mainland by less than 200 kilometers, joining Pacific Ocean with Indian Ocean. Moving on, Megalin Strait is located in Chile, joining Pacific and South Atlantic Ocean. Consider the following statements on Mission Karmiyogi. It aims to bring changes in the status quo of civil services and the mission covers central and state government employees at all levels, we have to select the correct statement. The first statement is incorrect while the second is not because this mission covers only the central government employees. So the correct answer is option A, that is one only. Recently, a three-member task force has been formed to help the government in bringing major bureaucratic reforms through its ambitious mission Kanyogi, aimed at building a future-ready civil services with the right attitude, skills and knowledge aligned to the vision of New India and to change the status quo of civil services and bring about the long pending civil services reform. The scheme will cover 46 lakh government, central government employees at all levels and involve an outlay of Rs 510 crore over a five-year period. It is one of the southernmost cities of the ancient Indus Valley civilization and construction of the city began around 2400 BCE. It has the world's earliest known dog which connected the city to an ancient course of the Sabarmati River on the trade route between Harappan cities in Sindh and the peninsula of Saurashtra. This site has been nominated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and its application is pending on the tentative list of UNESCO. We have to identify the Indus Valley site using the given option. The correct answer to this question is option E, that is Lothal. The Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation and Development of National Maritime Heritage Complex at Lothal Gujarat. It was a vital and thriving trade centre in ancient times with its trade of beads, gems and valuable ornaments reaching from the far corners of West Asia and Africa. Let's move on to the practice question. For our next segment, consider the following states. West Bengal, Kerala, Tripura and Assam. We have to, with a reference to the states mentioned above in the terms of rubber producing states in India, we have to select which one of the following is in the correct descending order. So I hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.